This episode of the New Medical Nomads podcast is brought to you by Nomadicare. Now, personally, I love Nomadicare. I've used Nomadicare, and I recommend the company to all new travelers. What Nomadicare does is it takes the fear out of getting set up with a bad recruiter, which is the biggest fear that you have jumping into this journey. So they sit down, they interview recruiters, they vet them, get them on a list, and then provide them to you as a free service, as a free recruiter matchmaking service in order to get you started on your journey. Now, usually you only get two recruiters going through Nomadicare, but being a listener of the show, you can get three. So this is how it's going to work. You go to nomadicare.com slash Dylan. You will get set up with three recruiters to be on your dream team, as well as a guide to get you started on your journey. Hey, Nomads, this is Dylan coming at you from Southern Missouri. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the New Medical Nomads podcast. I am your host, Dr. Dylan Callier, and today is going, we're talking about how much does a traveling physical therapist really make? How much in total? It's um, when I run this podcast, a lot of the times it's general information that travel nurses could use, occupational therapists, scrub technologists, interventional radiologists, technicians, sonographers. But today I'm going to focus on traveling physical therapy, which is what I am. I'm travel PT. Uh, not to say that if you watch this video, you can watch at how I break down everything as I compare a permanent salary to taking travel contracts throughout the year. Uh, you can see how I break that down and then ultimately you can make the decision for you to see what the financial differences are between being a contractor, a medical contractor, or taking your standard, typical, permanent salary position. Now, running this podcast, there are levels of questions that, going to be, that go into being a traveler, going into being a medical traveler. So how much do you make is usually in that first tier, that bottom, bottom like section where everybody's thinking about it or they just heard about it from their friends. So if this is your first video that you're watching here on YouTube or on the audio files on Spotify, iTunes, wherever, just know some of the things that I talk about you can find in the other episodes as well. So don't be overwhelmed. This is just going to be a general overview of how my first job for almost a complete year as a permanent salary position compares to being a travel PT. So I have my handy dandy whiteboard and we're gonna break this down. So how much does a travel physical therapist actually make? Well, let's first take a look at what I was earning as a permanent PT in Missouri. I'm back home right now visiting family and this is where I originally had my first job. So my permanent salary, a little bit of glare on the screen. My permanent salary was $60,000 coming out of school. That was as a new grad. I worked it for just short, of, just shy of a year. And that was for the area considered good. It was an outpatient physical therapy salary. Um, in Missouri, outpatient is paid a little bit less than say home health or acute care or neuro rehab. And I know that differs very, like it, it can vary across the states. Um, the further east that you move, um, usually the outpatient positions pay a little bit better than your acute care. Um, but for, for Missouri, outpatient is a little bit lower, but that's what I love. That's what I wanted to get into. And so 60,000, and then I wanted to compare the tax rates as well. So giving as much possible chance for the permanent salary position to to make as much as I could. Um, that way it kind of takes out some of the bias that I have towards being a travel PT. So the lowest amount of taxes I would have paid for that first year as a salary worker would have been $2,571 for the whole year. And that would have left me with $57,429 that I earned for that year. That is for, <laughs> that that money is left for, you know, what I'm needing to pay for student debt, what I'm needing to pay for long-term disability insurance, what I'm needing to pay for rent, for my car payments, everything like that. But that is 
five thousand or sorry fifty seven thousand four hundred twenty nine dollars is what I had to work off that first year now coming out when I interviewed for my first contract I was still considered a new grad I was still within that first year and depending on who you talk to um, up until your two years to being a practicing um, travel or practicing physical therapist um, you're still considered within that new grad range so contract number one what did I make I made one thousand six hundred forty dollars take home and that was for ten weeks now also on top of that I got a four hundred dollar reimbursement in order for me to drive from Missouri all the way to California and then I also took out the taxes down here at the bottom so for that ten weeks nine hundred thirty six dollars is coming out in tax I added the one thousand six hundred forty dollars to the four hundred dollars and ultimately came out with an ultimate sixteen thousand one hundred eighty two dollars for that that ten weeks that I worked why was it ten weeks well I went into the position they ended up finding another permanent um, person to come in and take my spot so it ended a little bit sooner um, and that is what I earned for that first contract moving down second contract contract number two ended up earning also outpatient physical therapy position um, $1,860 take home per week this is all after insurances except for the permanent position the permanent position I left as um, <laughs> before taking out um, for insurance and then all the contracted uh, rates that I'm showing you are after insurance so again trying to give as much possible um, bias towards the permanent position the salaried position um, to kind of take out my personal bias so contract number two one thousand eight hundred sixty dollars per week take home I did that for 14 weeks and then the tax for that total contract coming out was one thousand three hundred ten dollars that left me with a remaining twenty four thousand seven hundred thirty dollars for that entire contract now I did not take any reimbursements for this that's why you don't see any reimbursement um, pay in there I only took reimbursements for my first contract this is all per diems and then I also um, calculated the taxable hourly rate um, taking eighteen dollars per hour for the taxable wage um, I gave the most possible tax by California which is 13 percent of income and took that out of the taxable hourly wage so eighteen dollars times 40 hours per week times 0.13 in order to get the 13 percent out and then that's what the taxable wage was so it left me with twenty four thousand seven hundred thirty dollars for that second contract contract number three was a home health position so it's a little bit more contract number three two thousand twenty dollars take home per week that's after insurances medical insurance and that is um, the 200 below you can add 200 dollars to that for the uh, travel or not travel reimbursement the mileage reimbursement for the home health position I was quoted so many miles per week on average I took that average I times it by the um, cent reimbursement that they were giving me and that came out to two hundred dollars per week and then I times that by 13 weeks the taxable wage I had for this contract was eighteen dollars per hour again so eighteen dollars per hour times forty and then times that by 13 percent and then that gives me the tax that I'm going to be paying for this contract so the tax for this contract was one thousand two hundred sixteen dollars so ultimately two thousand twenty dollars plus two hundred dollars times 13 weeks each um, minus one thousand two hundred sixteen dollars for tax gives us ultimately twenty seven thousand dollars six hundred twenty seven thousand six hundred forty four dollars for that contract now I will add all these up and then we can give a fair comparison between the permanent position and the travel contract position 
All right, so now comparing the ultimate totals between the salaried position and the travel PT position. Again, if you were watching this, this is comparing my first year as a PT, as a salaried PT, to my second year, which is being a traveling physical therapist. So this should be very relatable to any new graduate physical therapist out there or somebody getting ready to start being a traveling physical therapist as wanting to do this straight out of school. So ultimately going back to the permanent total, $57,429 for 50 weeks of work. Now I will say that that first position that I took, I did not take a full two weeks off. I think I took a total of maybe four days. And that was just the, because of the job and because of the demand and because of the situation that I was in. So I did not actually work only 50 weeks. It was more than that. But again, wanted to give um, the best chance possible for this permanent salaried position. My travel PT, first year as a travel PT, $68,702, which is more than the permanent. But the big kicker is for only 37 weeks. So getting into this, you usually have to take a week off in between contracts. But if you look back at the contracts, I gave the total number of weeks that I worked. So it was 10 for the first contract, 14 weeks for the second contract, and 13 weeks for the third contract. The remainder of that year goes towards spending at least 30 days at your tax home that you need to in order to get those um, really great tax reimbursements or tax discounts that we do as traveling physical therapists. But then also I am planning on taking off for the rest of the year to go travel, to go see other countries, which is ultimately my why for travel is to have that freedom to go and just see the rest of the world. So. You can take that time off and do whatever you want. Go see more family, go um, start your business, go travel the world. But for my second year working as a traveling physical therapist, I was making a little over $10,000 more than I was as a salaried PT for 37 weeks of work compared to 50 weeks of work. So for 13 weeks less of work, I was making more than 10 grand on top of what I was making as a permanent salaried PT. Now, the second question I get is, should you be doing this? If, if your number one goal is to get your student debt down, if your number one goal is to earn as much cash as possible, travel PT isn't the way to do it. There are better ways. It's one of the, it's one of the better ways, but there is better ways. If you choose a high paying state like, um, the Northwest and take multiple PRN jobs and maybe work a little bit extra, extra over time. That's what I would do. And if, if I was in that grind, if I needed to make money, that's what I would be doing right now instead of travel PT. But what traveling physical therapy gives you is freedom, the freedom of location to choose where you want to work, what setting you want to work. What do you want to try out? What are you curious about? Do it for three months. Do you like it? Yeah. Awesome. Let's do another one. You don't like it. <laughs> well, not, not going to do that again. Um, and then you move on to the next one. It gives you so much freedom, um, so much ability to professionally develop so much ability to choose where you want to go or take time off and go see the family or take time off and go travel the world. And then it does pay better than a typical salary PT although it is not the best way to earn money. So if you were new to the podcast and this is the first video you've watched and you like what you heard, um, some of the information that I covered within this video can be found in the other episodes of the New Medical Nomads podcast. If you did enjoy this video, if you got something out of it, please comment below, like up the screen, heart it up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Ultimately, the more engagement that this gets, the more people that can see it and the more people we can help out, which is the whole goal of this podcast. So if you were looking for the next official launch of this show, you can go to newmedicalnomads.com. If you are wanting to join the group and re reach out for any questions, you can go to the New Medical Nomads group on Facebook, or if you're looking for the early access to the episodes, 
you can subscribe on YouTube or follow on iTunes or Spotify or any of your favorite podcasting apps as well. But thank you so much, guys, for joining. That is how much a traveling physical therapist can make compared to a typical permanent salary. I hope this helps those who are in the decision process on whether or not traveling physical therapy is for them. And for those already traveling, please have safe travels.